I was in Oma finishing up and then Keely rang me. Go and pick me up. Greencastle, like. Greencastle's not picking me up. Greencastle's right. Go on, drive me. If Ten I miles out of the side on the way to Cookstown. Get her and then come home. So I was going to go to the gym quick, but Arla, like, Arla on the way down says, pick me up and make a, like a Sunday dinner. So I had to sit down and wait for that. <laughs> Couldn't get to the gym. At that then, then fell asleep. Woke up then out for a shit. <laughs> I'm leaving that on. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, people. So we found us out the back. Uh, somebody, must be somebody set. It must be somebody here from the last night. It could be any time, man. See the stuff that... Uh, like, we've left things in there, like a spoon or something, or a pen, and it's in the exact same spot a month later when we come back. Nobody touches it, they just go in there for the booze. Uh, well, somebody touched shit tonight. <laughs> a New York portal. New York portal, so that's... That's the thing. <laughs> the, the boy held up the, the video. <laughs> the fucking Twin player. Towers. The playing guys on the Twin Towers. Somebody... So you know what? This could be... This could be Willie T's. Aye. Uh, he does that. <laughs> looks like he's a sword fighter, but the way he writes his fucking... Looks like he's got terrible palsy or something. Maybe. <laughs> that might be the answer. Maybe that's cerebral palsy, right? Homeless man, I could say he definitely was homeless for a while. And then that or he had it run on with a homeless man. He must have got a tired arm when he was writing this book. <laughs> <laughs> writing how he can really, he'd really tire you out, like. Should have took a break here. What's that say, like? <clears throat> it's just like fucking hit the page. Ah! You fucking bastard! <laughs> Thanlo Staffy Thanos is right Staffy Get rid of 50% You like Staffies Is that what it says? No the next one's Staffy Oh yeah, yeah. Like oh, I haven't a clue Staffy's that one. dogs Voice <laughs> Voice followed by <laughs> Speech therapy Do you know <laughs> Is that my shit? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see if you put it all together It is Wally T's Because it's Staffy Voice Speech therapy We hand <laughs> That could be him and I go, he does a, he does a Jeremy Beadle hand. Oh, uh, Marco was telling him about Geddes. Geddes was talking about meeting him and Marco Eadle last night. He goes, fucking new Amos. Funny man, sir. He says, but see, every time I see him, he looks like he's dragged out of a bun every time. <laughs> <laughs> he says, he looks like he was pull- pulled out of a bun. He pulled out of a bun every single time. <laughs> he says, he was that stoned that uh, Eamon said, uh, nice to meet you, Colin. And Colin went, sure, I'll get you next time. Because <laughs> he was just... Uh, were they on about the night we landed up? Yeah, Aye. obviously. Did we talk about what we talked about in the last podcast? Aye. 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 That's what I called the last podcast, Weed Sweets. Uh, fuck, Mac uh, Orange Order Obesity. Sex Noises. <laughs> Tinder, Tinder Spastic. <laughs> Tinder Spastic. But do you wonder, do you, like, no, I better not. <laughs> I think he's got a bit about being on Tinder and somebody thought it was funny. No, he called him that and he went, hey, it's a bit fine. He goes, come on, you're a comedian. Aye. I think I've... Uh, That's his new set there. That's William Thompson's Edinburgh set, ladies and gentlemen. Zoom in. <laughs> it's just words. Steal it. <laughs> you can write that in, uh, Sex noises. Orange order, obesity. Uh, Orange order, obesity. That could be his last hours. That could be sitting there from last year. Ah, uh, funny, because some of I recognise. Mm, Germans in Israel. Yep. Yeah. Eamon. Yeah. Eamon looks like one of the boys in straight pyjamas. It looks, like a, it looks like a fucking. Do you mean the Terra Hawks? <laughs> you know what a Terra Hawk is? I used that in the joke, and nobody in the room got the reference at all. Remember, I always say about waking up beside the wife and her hangover, and you're not. And turn around, it's like a Terra Hawk. Like, water, uh, water. But used to sicken me about her, the Terra Hawk, was it sounded, and I always say that that's no people don't fucking red their throat when they're talking. You hear the wee gargle the whole time? <laughs> I'm looking at the TV going, gone fucking red your throat. Or seeing anybody with laces. I have them now, probably. And when they're talking, oh, wow. you see the fl- the slabber going. And then once you see it, you cannot on look at that wee fucking gallon of the fucking puffy sweat at the corner of the lip or whatever it is. Here. The gallon of the. This is what. This is what. Michael the phlegm. Is. This is what Michael re- reminds me of when I see him. It's a Beetle just reference, but you know the bit where they pull their faces apart? Aye. Uh, 
It's from any. He's been called from anything. See, after every show, somebody comes up and puts another tag on. I swear to God. What was the last one? And I went, oh, I wanted to write it down there and then and didn't get time. It was a fucking, and it was just, yep. Should he get stuck in himself? Your whole Mrs. Doyle. Out of Mrs. Doyle. Simpsons? Out of the fucking Father Ted. And fa- d- Burns out of the Simpsons, right? Burns out of the Simpsons, yeah. That's his bit. Imagine your whole stick was how ugly and horrible I am. <laughs> Eamon seems to be the comedian's comedian. Comedi- all comedians all. They all chat about us material in green rooms. Mm. You know what I mean? And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he he just, does not. <laughs> he's just got the hair up. He's just visiting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he just this last time he came in on wheels just to fucking pass me. <laughs> Aye, that's the Prince of Darkness. Uh, fucking. He got. Uh, man, when we were doing. Because this is what happened, and it's mad how things happen. We were doing Dave Elliott's pod. Mm-hmm. And I think he interjected a couple of times going, Man, you could pay me my weed. That wouldn't take money. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I got weed and all this here. No bother and all of them he's paid. You yes. no one just went back in the end. Aye, right, well, do you know what? Funny, that was the next thing that McCann was saying. He said you were sitting in the car and he said Mac- McAwee was in the back and he says he was interjecting on the conversations, but he was five minutes behind. So, <laughs> so they were talking about, you know, going to New York and a kind of thing and five minutes would go by and he's like, No body, man. <laughs> McCann was like, Man, that was five minutes ago. I said, you are fucked up. He just, yeah, but he just went in there fucking. It was just like, he was sitting in the back seat, but it looked like he was in the back of a bus. <laughs> when you look back, he was just away back. <laughs> Sunk in. He's just miles back. I'm going, what the fuck? Me looking at the mirror. But I, uh, so we're, uh, the, the gig in here, Dave's gig in here went brilliant then. That's after the last one where you two boys fucked off and leave me to do all the work. So no. we had a whole row before we set up early, before I set up again and. You know what they're like. Well, not anyway. <laughs> We're going to have to change buffers. Oh, smell it. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going. It smells bad because I'm just up. What were you saying? Anyway? The part of the... You got handled the joint after the gig. Well, that seems to be a thing in comedians that they just hand them... After smokers in the top pocket. You don't know what you're smoking to. You know what I mean? I just taken LSD. Uh, but Did I tell you about the night, the time in Vegas? Because the boy says that he listened to the podcast and came to the show. Do you watch Dave? Seen fucking. Oh, I know who that is. Is that Mac- the guy who asked that question? Michael Weasel. Michael Weasel. Michael Weed. Eamon Michael Weed. Eamon Michael Weed. Michael Weed. Michael Weed. Eamon Michael Weasel. I give him one. Eamon Michael Weed. Hmm. I don't know. Him and Michael Weed got a, got a photo of them with Dave. Was I telling you about Vegas? I was finding the pole. I never told that story before. The dick pole? No. So we were in Vegas, and we were fucking, there was like three days in, and one of the boys found like a, a pole, like a red pole, and like a wee glass case that opened up, like, you no, know, like you keep a ring in. Hmm. But it was all fancy glass. Something on a wee cushion? It wasn't on a wee cushion, but it was on a wee... The ultimate <laughs> So we brought it back to the hotel. And I was I'm like, going straight up my bum. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, I wonder what it is. No, it's mysterious. I was like, you can't take that. It's, just, it's a round, random tablet that they found in the street. Like, lying. You know, during the floods, I fucking went down the town and I lifted a drifter off the, the river when I was flying, going by and had it. And I had it. <laughs> well, long, <laughs> short story short, it lasted about an hour. They opened it, they put it on the table, they chopped it up and snuffed it. <laughs> Ultimately, if you put enough men in the room, <laughs> there's going to be somebody stupid enough to do well, that. Just everybody was walking by. Every uh, and did anybody, did any, how does it come We're up? that fucked in a way. You wouldn't be able to tell. I'm coming up on the red thing. <laughs> Four days. <laughs> how do you know? Don't know what it's like. <laughs> oh, fuck. But just just enough time passed that, I ah, fuck it. It's, just, that's it's like leaving a baby in a room with a cookie and don't hit the button. No, I'm so you're not going to do it through you're eating it. Like. Uh, so, fuck. Replaced to be chingum. <laughs> like, I'd like to add that I did not partake in the you did? No, man, I'm not. Like, a random, it could have uh, been fucking sh- anything. Like, it could have been rat poison. Like, if somebody could have fucked that in the street knowing that. Not even that. I was left there for you to be stupid enough to take it. Just like, take me. Aye. <laughs> take me. Aye, man. Anyway, Straban boys couldn't, <laughs> couldn't let it lie. Couldn't let, and like, not even, not even a wee. 
We're just a good wee town, I think, compared just to some of the places I've been around. Nemo. Everywhere. Strabane is now when you break it down. So, a, a good, like, I have family and people I know moving back from cities. They live here and raise yeah. their families rather than stay in the cities. Even though some of the jobs... Somebody tell me there he came back from... Who won the league outside Leicester, or not? Uh, what's, is there more to the question? Didn't Leicester win the Premier League? Aye. Aye, because he was there on the old. And the, he says coming back home was great for the wins, but the money shit, he says here. And, like, what was it he was getting? He says you were doing, like, three hours on a Saturday for 400 quid and all. Well, that type of work, he says they were just fucking throwing money at you for doing any for stupid uh, things. Well, I know a few boys that are, like, over in Switzerland and stuff, and, like, they're not seeing their wins, but, like, the money's... And apparently going to Spain from England too, it's like fucking 80 quid, flights, no stuff like that. Spain, England, no, not the flights we were on. So many airports, you see. Oh, from England, yes. Sorry. From England? Yes, right. That's what okay. I'm saying. We're listening. Sorry, I wasn't. So he was saying everything's definitely primed better for family holidays and money and stuff like that. We wee bit dear over there, but you always, there's money just coming on left, right and centre. Over here, then, it's just fucking skint old Eastwood. But far safer. Aye. It's here safe, like. That is, aye. Because, like... Our pedos are dead on, around the spread. You know generous, them, like, generous. That you know them, like... I just sweets on them, do you ever notice? Aye. <laughs> Bags of them. It's like cheers, but pedos. <laughs> Everywhere you go. You know, like all chocolate, you'd enough it, you get a swirl. And they <laughs> always know your name. <laughs> do, 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 do. I want to go where the pedo just know my name. <laughs> do, 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 do. He's got your hand down your trousers. Feeling your doodle it, 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 it. Feeling your doodle it, it, it. General Charlie, Pedo, I, I, sure we all know him. A wee fiddler. Was it good at the violin? No, no. Find the time you use the name on the fur trees kick. What? Uh, fuck, I can't even say it. Was that uproar? I don't know. Are your man the fiddler? Would he play the violin? Does he fucking no. But he loves next day at park. Hey, but... <laughs> you like, know what I mean? <laughs> do you know what? Just when you're talking about being away... So I was in Spain, Lanzarote, and I swear to God, foreign holidays are like a fucking social experiment, like... Uh, I was lying in bed. Me and Arthur were lying in the bed last night going, what's, it ha- what's happening now in Lanzarote? Now, right now, like... Because mm-hmm. it's just mental. People running around, just it's just for young people to do it. What do you mean? Well, lands are out. Any, any holidays, you just now, when it was raining here, shite outside, mm. you're oh, sitting going, yes, yes, yes. what's happening right now in Ibiza? Right now, you no, know, we're on about it was like 11 o'clock last night. This is, that is mental, like. Ah, well, but there's a, like there's parts of it where there's just people walking around having a lovely evening because there's beautiful scenery, there's nice weather, you can sit outside. I got engaged in lands already, you know. Well, which? And I nearly threw the ring into the sea before I asked her. Because she's been a hateful bitch all day, sir. <laughs> so I had a plan all day to tell her, will you marry me? The whole big thing, we were going to go to a Dubliner bar and all. And it was like the omens told her. She was like, I'm not going out tonight. <laughs> and you still, you just well. Not at every this makes a lot of sense. Ever, <laughs> ever planned it. My man, I, look, she was the only one that didn't know I was going to propose, actually. Well. There was about 40 of us. <laughs> no, there was only about five of us, but still. And she wasn't going for going out at all. So then when I talked to her going out, she's in bad form. And I swear to God, there's one stage I was just ready to get that fucking 150 pound ring and chuck it in the sea. <laughs> you know um, what I mean? Hey, do you want to see me skim a stone? <laughs> I just... <laughs> box and all, just... <laughs> the Dublin or pub you go down steps on it? Ah, well, that must have been... It's not wheelchair access. Port of the Carmen, is it? We were in Playa Blanca. That's the main sort of... It's the bigger sort of... Time. Aye, aye, aye. So, man, so we were on the way over and the woman was like, you know... T- Lanzarote is only like 50 miles from Morocco and I was like fucking Morocco is like well down Africa so I went and looked at it a map them, them islands are nowhere near Spain like absolutely nowhere we left near. Lanzarote what's the next island? Gran Canaria I think it is no you're or, going uh, Palma Tenerife they're all about there it was one land i tell you about the boy we met over there and he's 20 reef boy Hi. you go to Tenerife he was a 20 oh, uh-huh. that's, that's the island we went all over to boat together and everything he got was cheaper Everything. So I lied about this price of fags. Took a fiver off each box or something, one of them ones. Mm. And I was in the middle of the time, I was going, fuck me. And I was like, I was one man up, one up man ship on him. Uh. I had him. I had him because he can't get back to the island. We're just getting off on the lands right again. No way, Jesus. 
And then he's even thinking about going back over the next day and all. Would it be worth it? And all. And then Arlo was, no, it wasn't 50 and 50, I sleeve. It was 22, 50 or something. Right. And I went, Arlo was, was 15. Roland, should I pay for it? Remember, I got the money out of the dirt. I said, so what? You're getting mistaken. No, I'm not. You do nice. No, looking at her and on, she just sank me, looked around and sank her. And your man won again. <laughs> Jesus. He kept man, winning. like, he kept one on that holiday. Do you see the, uh, the hotel, man? Like, all inclusive hotels, man. It's just like social experiment. Like, see Westerners, slobs. Nah. See, out of like, I would say every hundred people. I would say there's two people in shape, and I don't mean I don't mean uh, like ripped. I just mean some sort of shape. No, just are not you on about westerners? Aye, like just a English. B- not a lot of English, Scottish, all Rangers, Scotland, of course. Was it? Aye, all Rangers. Aye. Fuck. <laughs> fucking up. This wee fucking. How long were we there for a full week? Full week. Yeah, there was a wee Scottish woman walking up behind me, and like they don't give a fuck either. Like varicose veins up the fucking legs. Heavy, short, bikini on, walking up, and she just went. So I was walking up behind her with two fucking drinks, and we're walking up through this wee thing, and she had two children in front of them, and she just went, <laughs> Not up that fucking way, over this fucking way. Just, so we're just in front of me, and she did not give one fuck. That's probably a wee tenny for it at the start of all that. Hey, but. <laughs> By the time it got to the end of him, fucking... Like a stone <laughs> rippling through the... <laughs> <laughs> she farted the night before. Uh, I, just <laughs> I shouldn't even know she farted. Oh, no! <laughs> That's disgusting. You dirty bastard. Hey, but man, like, it's, it's the one thing, too, we always say, so... We weren't chatting with a lot of people because we weren't trying to get on their groups. No, we're friends. Like, you feel oh, obligated, yeah. But around on Especially there, early on. I ran on there a couple, hey man, and there was this like Italian guy with his wife and like a couple of wains, and he was like in the budgie smugglers, sort of great shape. Is that why you hung around me, sir? Because you look good. No, 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 no. I'd no. be something the Scottish. No, I don't even know. We were with the Scottish, but <laughs> I'll prove your point that you say before. It was just like, so he was in great shape, man. Every morning, so like my young boy, one morning was eating chips and lollipops for breakfast. Looked over at his family, they're all eating fruit. Aye. And liking it. And then for mm. dinner, they all had veg. So he's in great shape. I'd fight him before the Aye. week was it. And all the Scottish ones, did you see the fucking shape your man running about in the fucking... Aye. I know. Them slobs, like... But you know what? Them I know. Three he's doing the right thing. Like. Aye. Tanned. His wife's beautiful. <laughs> kids just love fruit and veg. Good shape. And everybody was like... Look, I've been at birthday parties where the parents have brought wee Tupperware full of fucking cut strawberries and fucking whatnot yeah. for wins, and you're going, look at them cunts there. But their wins are class looking, lovely skin, shiny hair, nice teeth. Aye, I mean, man, this family. Hey, and they're behaved. Aye. They thank you, you know. Aye. Fucking thank me for a bit of cake, would you? Okay. Aye, man. That's jealousy, more than anything, because we haven't got Aye, man, if you looked bit. around, the Westerners piled up shit. <laughs> shit. And, like, most people, like, there was so much, like, paella and rice and... What's paella? Like, it's like a fish rice thing. He always comes back fucking with new words, thinking he's all international. It's like, the, it's like the, the main Spanish dish, but... You know what I mean? Is it like fucking semolina? But, like, most of, the, most of the people in that hotel were eating pizza and chips. Aye. That'd be my wins ever. That'd be lunch and dinner. <laughs> Made of chips and pizza, the second. <laughs> I mean... Oh, but, man... I chicken sh- goujons and chips. Goujons. Aye. Chicken fucking goujons. Aye. Oh, they were they were the popular too goujons. Like and then goujons, was, and it's easy f- sorted. What was you? What was the food like for you? Oh, I, said I had everything. Aye. No bother, you. Man, I love an omelet station. See every morning. But do you know what? It was more the fact that you don't have to think about breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Just walk down and get it. Just walk down. And oh, aye, and then when you're away, the place gets robbed or tidied. You know whatever you want. Mm. But you're coming back to new towels and all. And didn't see a lot of English now we went in. When you're folding the toilet away, make sure you hide the brown streak. Uh, oh, fuck it. Oh, we were using the same toilets over and over. Hey, man, there was an outside toilet. What? So it was like part of the... We had two bathrooms. There were like an ensuite in our room, and then the other bathroom had no roof on it. Just like a growl thing. Because it's always fucking warm, like. Mm. Man, having a shite outside. Unreal. My mate does that, but he lives in Donegal. Uh, but he's <laughs> just, he's just shite outside. Uh. He's just shite outside. And he's just squatting. A slashing. Hey, one of the days I came back. Clean the nursery grass. Hey, one of the days I came back, hey, and had a shite, but the sun was hitting the toilet. Uh, Roasted. I mean. Why would you go out there? Why would you not go into there? Because the hell was in the toilet, so she, I just run into the toilet. 
Man, the sweat was lashing off me. I was like doing a shite in a sauna. Oh, I've done that. A shite in a sauna. No, but I'm sat sweating, shiting. Oh. You're sliding all over the bowl on you're like, oh. But you know what, man? After a week, hey, you just wonder why anybody would love an Ireland. See, but see, Saturday, Sunday, the misery was coming through the phone because I think the Sunday was passion rain and everybody must have been taking videos of their backyard and the rain bouncing off all the f- summer oh. furniture. Terror, like... See, you forget about it. You forget about good weather. Man, that's from set, watching Theo Vaughn a couple of his clips and he was just Irish people who just live inside. That's what we do. It's all indoor living, like everything's designed to live indoors. I mean, man, we were walking down through this nice wee town and there was a wee thing up, a large beer, two euro, small beer, one euro. It's like, how is their beer, two euros? No, mm. it's like four Tax. Tax. See, the thing about it, but see if I go two weeks somewhere, the day comes around and you sit in the dark all day. Watch movies and shit. Aye. I can't sit. In, I'm not a sun person. Like, like I love the oh, sun, but aye. I, oh, don't get me wrong. Aye, there was a few days I'd fucking it's just too much out in the sun. Aye, there was a couple of days like I sat out in the shade the whole fucking day because aye. it's intense. Like, aye, and I was fucking burnt and roasted. And do you not get any? You don't take tandy. My tanner and you wasn't even. I was out the back garden. Oh, you don't have a back garden. Hey, but oh, will you hear this? Me. Hey, we went down to the Irish bar and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, nearly got in a couple of fights. So, like, why do you, why do you English flock? Oh. I went to an Irish bar. It was full English. Like, if you were and going the to watch, there, the harder you there. You weren't going to like if they're not even playing. You weren't flocking to an English bar. I thought I was sadly one of the Scottish boys. He's reckons because Irish bars are good crack and English bars are fucking shite. Mm. They just think you can get pissed. Irish bar symbolizes getting drunk. Hi. Where an English bar is like fucking Eastenders half time. You know what I mean? Your fucking uh. lunch break pint. Where we'd fucking get pissed in the Irish bar. Hey, I was a complete cunt. So how are we nearly fighting? <laughs> Break her down. <laughs> here. We the Wayans we? Hey. <laughs> but you know what? I'd, like, you I seem to always start fights when the Wayans are about to season to get a little. You know what? You're I was, fucking lucky. I was hogging a few pints and I had a little bit of fucking uh, liquid courage on me. So I did. But it was a couple of boys. Like, you weren't wearing your gi, no? I <laughs> had <laughs> <laughs> my purple belt on, but... <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky, you're lucky your silver medals. <laughs> hey, so... <laughs> Second place. <laughs> Show him photos of you second on the podium. <laughs> yeah. mm, fucking, I don't so, see you in first and third. Uh, so hey, we went into this bar, <laughs> and then uh, there was a couple of Scottish guys from the uh, from the hotel there, and we started talking. Now one of the guys must have been six five, by called Andrew Sound, big Rangers man. And it was like, uh, and his mate was he's, like, he's one of them. Celtic. I was like, well, I'm one of them too. And I was like, but we both didn't want. Not, what do you mean? I was like, but I'm not a Rangers. You're not a Celtic supporter? Either. No, I don't mean a Celtic supporter. He meant like a Catholic. Aye. You know what I mean? So uh, I was like, anybody but the English. We were laughing. And he goes, oh, this is my, this is my uh, father-in-law. He's English. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that's all anybody. <laughs> so on behind us, right, there was a an Irish couple, an older couple. And on the right, there was a an, an English couple. So your man's fucking Andrew standing talking to me. The bar's packed, like the TV's here. And Andrew's a big lad. Your man goes, could you sit down, sir? We can't see the fucking TV. Who's was, this? The old Irish boy, the him. I was like, where is he supposed to fucking stand? You says? Just, uh, I was like, for a start, we were here before you. He goes, ah. What age are you talking? You bully? <laughs> About 50. Uh, 55. Fuck. Well, he's on with his wife, and his wife was like, could you not just sit down? We can't see a fucking thing. And I was like, where Where do we go? What do we do? Hmm. What? Do you hunker down or what's the story? But it wasn't so much me. I don't even know why I got involved. <laughs> and then your man Andrew says to me, I get this all the fucking time. Because so you know it says. Yeah. So he says, you know what? I'll, know. I'll stand on the other side of you. <laughs> then next thing, we're still talking away in English. So I was like, sorry, sir, could you move your head? We cannot see a thing, me and my wife. And I'm like, fuck. Is this the English group then? No. But preface this. To see the Irish guy, I says, look, sorry for being rude. I've got to be a bit wound because up there. Because he's Irish. Uh, I was like, sorry for that. <laughs> Apologise. And then your man moved. I said, look, I'm sorry. Then it happened again. I'm like, fuck us, English. like. So <laughs> so your man's sitting behind me. We should let him sit and you stand. Oh, what are you here? He came over to me and I said, look, what's the main problem here? Can you not see the TV? And he's like, no. And I said, do you want to see the TV? And he says, aye. I said, where are you sitting? And he went there and I over sat beside his wife. Aye. Just sat there. He's going, you can't do that. No, she's like, you get up and have a seat. You get oh, up and have a seat. Fuck. I just sat there for a month, and then I just burst out <laughs> and walked away, because I was like, you weren't going to fight me. Pelé wasn't filmed, eh? Oh, what fuck. happened to the big boy? He just stood there. Is this the real fight that you nearly going to 
I was waiting for a fucking oh, no, so high. I took the two years. I should have said argument. No. No, fuck. I hardly drank. No, you should have said argument, eh? Aye, fuck but it was. Holiday's fight. It was a good crack, what? Tags. But man, like. See that? Like, do you know what? It wasn't even the way. It wasn't even what they were saying. Like, say if I said, look, sorry, you're blocking the TV. It was the way they were doing it. Man, it's just entitlement. Aye. Go on, you move uh, out of the way. That's why I'm happy. Because I'm sitting down here and I can't... That's like, go on, get down your all fours and let me put my feet in your back. You know what uh, I mean? Uh, just for the show. Uh, you know, uh, like typical English uh, looking to fucking shut up for yourself. move into our territory. I'm rubbing off on you. Good. <laughs> you would have fucking bitched off back. Oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they're Left your wings, threw them at them. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Human shield. <laughs> just uh, one lane on each other. <laughs> hey, more man! More man! <laughs> Did the Wayans enjoy it? Class, sir. Can they all swim? Ollie's learning. The other two can, I. That's great when they can all swim. But hey. Ollie, two arm bands, Aye. jumping in. Aye, and you're watching, sir. Aye. Sun cream's the only sickness. Hey, man, but it doesn't matter how warm it is. Pool, freezing. Aye. I <laughs> still psych myself up. Like, oh, man. That's where I'm going to the choir, sir. I can get into a freezing cold sea, no bother. See, jumping in the pool in Lanzarote? Freezing. You can't get into a freezing cold sea, no bother. Man, better than you're I can. Wearing your wee fucking outfit. Better than I can get. Yeah, but you've got a fucking what I call on. You're no. not in the shorts. No. Do you not wear the whole fucking wetsuit? No. Ah, you do. Not your feet, your feet, things and everything. You turn me. Aye, well, and February, like Aye. it hurts, like. But no, I'm in, I'm in the jock. So why do you do you find it easier running on the fucking ocean Aye. than jumping in the pool? Man, I, I had to do the exact same, psych myself up. Aye. That's the same psych, eh? And how do you walk around, play with the sure, wings for a bit, throw them <laughs> See, whenever we did the fucking, the boat race, they're like, straight away, lift the boat, run straight under the sea. And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> no way. I'm fucking going to touch the water and run back out again. Ah! But see, for some reason, because it was competitive, you didn't even feel it. Aye, adrenaline. But I fucking definitely hate going under the water. I'd rather jump in. I hate it all. I fucking hate it all. I'm once run, you're on. Snoogs. Me and him went on holidays last year. It was the first time he went into the pool. Never left it. He was another boy too. Ah, in shape of me. I said, look at your woman over there. Uh, Just oh, on man, to fucking people get their do feet not, wet. People do not give a fuck. No. And do you know what I realised too? You must have looked like a Greek god over there, walking around. No. No. I would have. I, people that are too tan too, doesn't look right. White people aren't supposed to be that No. Nah. It looks re- it's weird looking. I hate December seeing woman orange mm. walking around the town like. Cat. Like people being, like there's an acceptable, nice. There's see, a nice swerve. There's coming. people there over there had gone about orange and it's natural, but they must live there, but it doesn't look right. If you lived over there, you wouldn't hardly get any colour, I'd say. You'd be sh- in the shade all the time. Hey man, but I, I was like, if you lived here and you finished work at four o'clock, Straight down to the beach, under the water, outdoor loving. and under the sea, and, and lands right. And the sea was fucking less cold than what the fucking pool was Aye. for some reason. But man, down under the sea, coffee, sun. There's a few bare boobs on each of the beaches. Lovely, wee bit of sexual tension. Blah blah blah. Wee bit of sand, sea, sun. Back to the house then for some fucking tomatoes and pasta, probably because you're being pure healthy because you're loving life in fucking Spain. You turn on the print book, do you ever notice? They're all class looking right up to their old, and then they're all, do you ever see Italian, Spanish? Jesus, man, I said, Dale, look at that woman over there. She was like, skin was like fucking, she was like something from The Walking Dead, sir. Hmm. English, just, probably? And I don't know, I don't need to get close enough to hear the voice. But, but if man, you're getting battered by the sun that much, just like, Bleow. it's just drying you up, isn't it? Fuck, man, not. We're no. moisturized the whole of our lives. Ah, like. sir, fucking, I'm the what house. What vitamin do we not get? D. D. Eating, I'm the house, eating stew. Aye. I don't know about this. Man, oh man, but there's more to life in Ireland. But man, I'm, I'm telling you, you fucking. come to Ireland, it's worth that one sunny day of the year to get a look around I you. wonder how many... It's the best country in the world. I wonder what the suicide rate is in Lanzarote. Or is anybody? Spain or them countries you live out. It depends where you're actually from. Like, I'm telling you now, there'll be people in real hot, everyday warm countries would love to come here and... Fucking breathe the air and... Now, Lanzarote's sewer system's not good, so you have to Aye. you have to put the toilet roll in the wee bun. Many times you know it on Never. No. Baby wipes and everything. Not down. one. Oh, everything. I'm go. not fucking wiping my whole... It's thing. B-Days, apparently. It's the, the, the Chinese go, would you ever rub a dry fucking hanky against fucking dirt in your arm? 
to clean it. True. Like, would you ever try I and wash your hands with a dry hanky? I always do. Baby. You're not washing them, like? I, but I, you'll do it with your eyes. I go toilet to roll, toilet Done. roll, baby wipe. Every time? Mm. At work? There's no baby wipes? You are oh, a no, lying no, bastard. No, no, not at work, no. At a festival? No, I believe Fuck it at work. You. Bleed like but do you know work. what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You were, if you had a bit of dirt there, you wouldn't get a dry cloth and go out and sit down. You have to wash it. But the dirt's also like... The Chinese know. Well, your be dates. Is your poo come out sand? <laughs> you would you be under half poo, an hour? Are your poos moisturised? Are they soft? Like they're wet? Some of them. Oh, well, some of them are dry as fuck. Fucking some, of are, some of them are super wet. Some of them just... <laughs> they're the best. Do you ever get a big... <laughs> and that's the noise that's going down the tube and everything? <laughs> ah, it's gone all uh, And you're like, that? I even shed? <laughs> Go shed, uh, That's a bloody old. And, and there's no wipe or nothing? It's great. You could have them every day. I'd love a set. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I would love a BD. Aye. BD, 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 BD. And then it's good for the environment and everything. Send shade out into the world. Mm. Now, you, you do get the smell of sewers and lands right Aye, away, man. You? Warm countries and you're walking around and everything's mm. too dry. Aye. You pick somebody out of there, even go down, like, any time here. It's great. Like, you ever see them in Americans who move to Ireland and all they do is they can't believe that nobody just gets in their car because any way you drive, you're going to, you're going to be at the fucking beach. You drive any direction, you're in the beach fucking an hour, a couple of hours. Like, in America's five hour drive, the beach is close. Mm. Here, it's around the corner. I need a six month holiday, I need a twice a year. Aye. Work one day a week. For you. We have four seasons, rain. Yep. Like we like, do you know what? I could bear it if we had some six weeks. If you if we were guaranteed eight, even a, August, no. If you could guarantee every every year four weeks of complete fucking summer heat, you'd take it. Mm. If it was every single year, if I'd feel Ireland would end up being a fucking destination. I think, I think Poland like it like the full three months of good weather. Aye, I used to think it would be cold over there until we went. It was fucking great. Mm. Germany gets great weather. We're, we get the worst because we're just fucking at the edge. Oh. The fucking precipice. Aye, mountains don't even help us. We, like, protect England from bad weather, the bastards. <laughs> we just get up the face. I know, because London ends up, like, uh, like, it's great weather. France and France. <laughs> France. 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 Hello, France. Francey pants. France and London are near each other, aren't they? Just a wee bridge away. So we're getting the same sort of weather. Aye, because uh, I think loads of... Uh, 50,000 extra English fans were able to channel tunnel it over to Germany for uh, the final year. Uh, <laughs> walk it. Stagger across. Uh, did you watch it? I watched the final, eh? The only game I watched. No way. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I watched a lot on there. I was too busy doing shit. Getting on my life. I mean. Class. Class. Same. Do you know what? I'm just they deserve to lose in a way that Spanish were so much better. Eh? <sighs> I don't even know one Spanish player. Angler, Rodri. Mm-hmm. Do you know anybody else? I know them all. Would you? Aye. From what teams? Nico Williams plays with Bilbao, I think. Yamal plays with Barcelona. Alvo Morata plays with Atletico Madrid. Almu plays with Leipzig. Why are you looking at him? He's no fucking... You don't know. No, aye, but he's a better idea than fucking you. Almu plays with Leipzig, I John think. Barnes used to play for Fabian Ruiz. Not sure he... Cucurella's Chelsea. Uh, all top clubs, then? Aye, Laporte. <laughs> The See the last Spain that won everything, but everybody knew that whole team. Mm. That was like the best, probably one of the best international teams. Well, I would say, I would say the average Joe on the street would know most of the Spanish team. Mm. Don't know. Give me two minutes, I'll go and grab an average Joe. A Joe present, I <laughs> One of them. Yeah. No, but it was just fucking. Just glad to see fucking. And then all the boys. Uh, Were you not like, glad to get home? You need two weeks or ten days, don't you? Because you're just starting the, the to know week, your way around. So if, uh, if you own the place, then seven you're Seven days was very quick. Right. Flew you, man. I could do two or three weeks, no bother. No problem. And for some reason, when I was away, I could sleep better. I could just... Because I switched off. Turned out... Didn't have nothing coming up. Uh, well, there wouldn't have been a lot of phone time, like... Aye. Right. Like and I, I... Man, I just fucking always have something coming up. The stress over. Even though we, even if it's a small bit of stress, there's something. Seeing mm. you've just, like... Two weeks where you don't have to do anything at all? Yeah. Fuck. Two, uh, two weeks would have been too long, I think. Do you know if you work for a virgin? And... A ah, virgin? Like if no virgin s- TV? Yeah. Go around and do all the thing. If you, uh, if 
if your missus gets pregnant, the way it's born, you get 16 weeks off. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is right. I couldn't believe it when they were telling me the last day when I was getting updated. All the hey. systems. We Cahill, the cousin, works for them, but the other guy was telling me the benefits. I'll never work anywhere else, sir. That's some haul, isn't it? I know, but, but like, is, is I'd have about a hundred wins if I worked them. <laughs> a, like, is that a wrong boy fact? Like, yeah, check it out. But it's not going to be on that. Virgin, well, hold on, the man or the woman? Uh, the man, the male, working for Virgin Media. Virgin work. What do you call it? Media paternity. paternity. What are they called? The engineers. Oh, excuse me. Oh, was Supporting you when it matters most. Our industry leading support includes up to 26 weeks paid maternity and adoption leave. 14 weeks paternity and up, 14? To, and up to 12 weeks paid neonatal leave. 14 weeks is all right. What do we get a week? That's 16. Too good. But hey, that's close for my... That's accurate there. That's rule, rule boy accuracy there. Still off by a couple of weeks, but I'll give it to you. I will give it to you. What? That's some job. What's that? Three, four months? Mm. If we just leave it in there? <laughs> <laughs> For literally just stopping. <laughs> <laughs> For just down until. That's all you did. For just down until. And then show your ass. Just <laughs> <laughs> you do the rest. <laughs> Keep our legs up there. <laughs> And then if we're back for the birth, eating crisps. <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about, woman. <laughs> two weeks off, yeah! <coughs> we were two cunts, two for our one hour or whatever wins. You did one out of the sausage rolls. You did sausage rolls as well? No, I don't the toast. <laughs> <laughs> when they're behind us doing the... <laughs> so I had a sausage roll and Arlo was in the, the ball, call me names. <laughs> oh, well, man, I thought women were going to storm the hospital. Hey, I thought uh, there was pitchforks and fucking... Oh, they hated us, eh? Oh. <laughs> the dry toast and then once Wayne's born you're just, like most dads you're just looking at the Wayne going oh, I can't wait to go to the pub hey but also and you're like fucking ages <laughs> hey but also uh, every man no I'd love to stay here I'd sleep in the hospital that night would you what and that's what I mean like see when the Wayne's born too is that not the best time to be at work that's or the pub wet in the Wayne's head and um, I think you're better staying but you for want 14 weeks on. 14 weeks at the house with a newborn and the wife Somebody told me, not saying who, but Cal. <laughs> Back to work early. Like, because it says when you think about it, the wains are young. Uh, no, uh, the only way you get that, it's fucking hard work. Oh, fucking hard work, sure. And then all of a sudden, all these jobs appear that doesn't need done before. Blip, blip, blip. Know what I mean? Everywhere. <laughs> Somebody said to me, <laughs> they give you things to do, man. Somebody said to me the last day, I was like, oh, I work in residential care as well. And she was like, oh, that must be why that. Must be fucking very rewarding. rewarding. I, was like, I was like, what? I was like, go down to a house. There was no wins the last day. I was watching films all day. None of my wins were there. There was a, a food, there was a fridge stock with food mm. that I didn't pay for. I was like, I two, and they ordered ring ringing. I'd turn the hoover on before I answer the phone. What? Ah, fucking flat out love. <laughs> Saturday. Back off. <laughs> Saturday, man. I was watching films all day, eating, went to the gym, dip in the sea. Doesn't happen regular enough, but. Oh, that, at the moment, that's quite a. F- if you pick you right can get shifts where you're the young person's out and about and you just have to be there. Uh, ready to that's just in the house all go and collect them. So it's, oh, they're the class ones. <laughs> what about the... <laughs> <laughs> when you're left in the house and you're on and you're really wild bored, do you ever <laughs> drink coffee instead of tea? Do you ever... <laughs> do you bet you're up there? Do you ever touch yourself? <laughs> do you ever... <laughs> Footer, you know what I'm kind of footer and I hate. No, I was talking about love the word footer, but it's one of the biggest fucking sickness is especially when young young people are it when they footer with your fucking the radio and the aircon mm. and then just footer and everything, knocking everything off and changing channels. That's one of the worst. There's a couple of young ones we worked. Remember volume full up every time you took them out, like boom, boom. Turn it down, turn it back up, just fucking... There used to be a young boy, he had a talent man for just wiping all the channels on my radio. Every time I left, every time he got out of the car, all my channels were just on the same one. Just wipe That's back That's when they want to get on there, can they get the ox lead on? Can I get the ox lead and put it on there to play my music and then everything's wiped? 
So every time he every time he got out of the car, all my channels were back to factor seven. So you're going to your second jobs like respite then from your own house? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Give him more shifts. Get the tax forty percent. Love a life. I have the shit we talk about. Nothing would be fucking. You know if we yeah, if we followed the lies we tell mm. us. <laughs> Take every word literally. I go on. That is a wee bit of respite. I have to say. Now. Fucking last night. I was in, I was in uh, night shift last night, and for, it was about three hours. I was just in the kitchen myself in a quiet house, watching a wee film on my phone. I my, still my kind of bacon sandwich. Aye, but you're still at work. Aye, aren't you? Hmm. Like you bring young. We always said you bring young ones to the gym. It's not gym time for you. You do anything. I was I was at the cinema the last day too, and the young fellow beside me sat down. I'm not watching this. Put the earphones on. This phone out the whole movie. Yeah, I've been there loads of times on that. Do you know that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah. Going to the toilet eight times in one phone. Mm. You're twenty fucking one, settled down, man. Mind the time you went to the cinema with about eight young people, and the thing was over, all of them were gone. Are they all just ate it? Uh, but they all like left and didn't tell us, and we walked out, and we didn't even Great. know. They're the best ones because <laughs> we just especially when you're in Bel- the- Belfast or something. Uh, <laughs> just you just drive home. Uh, the, 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 somebody was telling me they went and seen. The new Jurassic Park is a new one. Somebody's telling a story. And I was like, 1993, I think, the first one came out. I wasn't a bit far We were all 15 or 16. 16. That's when we went to see... Well, I was about 13. Uh, Cliffhanger was on the same night, because I watched the both of them the one night. Full. Thinking, I'll catch them out. I watched both. Just to tell boys, I watched both of them. Tell them the highlights of each one I've seen. Boys getting full and, or sick down their tops and the bare bellies mm-hmm. going up the middle all younger than my con we did it. Aye, man, because I, we went to see Heat one time. I remember leaving the cinema and I was like, fuck, somebody left a pizza. Spoke. On the seat, Bokes. You put just, your hand on the lift. I was going day, went down day, man, and it was just a perfect... Triangle? Perfect triangle. It was just the dead of the seat. I was like, oh, fuck. People, you might used to drink like fucking and you could hear people... Why, you, I know, why, why are you even drink and go to the cinema? Because it was all touching boobs and Aye, uh, but there was only that. <laughs> <laughs> We just went in a bus too, we got a bus. Mm. It was a big event and every, mm. everybody wanted to see the dinosaurs. That was a mad, when that came out, like it was the first real special effects. They look real. Do you couldn't wonder what it looks like now? What? Well, uh, Jurassic Park? Does it oh, still holds up. Does it? Oh, 100%. Eh? Special effects have been good since the 90s then. Mm. I was watching uh, Furiosa there, have you watched that? What's that? Like Mad Max. No, any good. Brilliant, sir. A shit in the dongle. Aye, but they've updated it. Have they? Uh, I think so. Good man, uh, James. <laughs> the shit one was on it, the good ones on it. It was like yeah. half decent pictures. Uh, I was sure that man, v- Boy vs. World, is that updated? Do you know? I don't know, I haven't sure I've watched it. I watched The Cracker in the cinema mm-hmm. last day, hey, a quiet place. Aye, uh, everybody sounds really good. Better than for the other two. Uh, I swear here. So think about it, ceilings, that if you move, make any noise, they kill you. So at the start, everybody's just dying. What Aye. the fuck? How do you even... And you catch, it shows you how quick you'll catch on if, if they can hear you. Mm. But uh, it's a crack. Your woman, the, the main actress, the head actor, unbelievable. Aye. Like she had you straight away. Especially when you take a grip. Do you ever take a grip and it's like the longest two-hour movie? It doesn't matter even if you like it. Like mm. Barbie, I love him the last time. Dragged. <laughs> Fucking dragged. Hey man, I've never seen Barbie. Shit. But in a way, a drag. Did like, you see it, no? it's, it's bad. It's like, shit, shit comedy. And it was just dragging and dragging. But see that one? Fucking hour and a half just went like that and I want more. Uh, I think it is It is a short one too. There's a lot to be said. Like Furiosa, fucking two and a half hours or something. Is it? I've watched it in three parts. Uh, you love it then? I but I've watched it just Is it good? Yeah, uh, it is really good. Uh, um, if it's good, then I don't know. It's no answer. I've fucking I'm, I'm just I've up. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, too. Uh, I watched it again. No. I watched it again, eh? It's why long, is it? Two and a half hours. Is it good? Fucking excellent. I watch it tonight, huh? True stories are the best, man. <laughs> I warn you. <laughs> <laughs> There's monkeys riding horses in it. We're the only people who are going to laugh at that forever. <laughs> Hey, uh, what did you make of your woman getting the tit out for the 12th then? Oh, sure, she's inspired me. Well, there's a lot of tags ticking up. She's a tag, you know. Yeah. Grab the boy around. I follow her now tonight. She's at the boob out tonight. It's free the tits. She's is she? <laughs> Must tag her on maybe video and put it out. Aye. So I've, I showed that some people didn't get the reference to the show, did they? Because they didn't know about that. No, really? So there's a woman that she's been 
Let's stall. Is it out? No. That's not out. I'll put it out tomorrow. I thought re- re- it would crash and burn today. Just. Uh, what about that one I sent you? With the... That should be good, shouldn't it? But sure, you don't know. No, no. But it's funny. Uh. <laughs> Hope you're not getting bucked in prison. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Ten more years? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> a Wait, there's a couple of wee things in that pod I think was good. Mm. What were we saying there? See if you could tell the whole, if you could condense it, the whole Mac story stories, quite good. Does it? And it leads into the whole hemp thing. There's a whole, there's a whole good story there, like, but it's probably too So, it was on about the orange man. So, Black, Black Patty got put a sash on. Seen it. The man who went up then, seen him trying to pull the green jacket off him. Uh, and i seen the start of it, it looked quite rough. Uh, but I flicked through it and it, it could it's, They just had crack one. Right. And then... Just somebody wrote, go to the bonfire that night when they're all fucking drinking. We were Irish tops here, goes, but the shop was going to be bad. But hey, they just enjoy it. Love ones, love seeing them. But hey, the majority of people are just nice like the rest, you know what I mean? But you know what, I was listening, your woman had stories up like, and she was saying, oh, you know, everybody was great. And she goes, I don't, I don't deal in fear. I don't feel fear. And I was like, it doesn't matter whether you feel fear. People can see if you're not afraid. You still kick a fuck out of you. It doesn't matter. Because I, I had a friend there recently got a fucking hammer, and he wasn't afraid, but they broke his leg and left him in hospital. Right. Fear, some, not having fears, fears a protection mechanism. People and also, she's saying about. everybody was loving her. Nobody knew what she was doing. Nobody knew she was a tag. What and was her whole... Uh, she hasn't told anybody. It's, there's a whole reason behind it, but she hasn't told anybody yet. But next year, if she does the same thing... She's dead. She, she'll get a fucking batter I would never. I, I haven't pulled back and. Do you remember that the day buddy? me and you, you fucking walked through? Man, oh, man, that was fucking hairy. Ones are shouting at me, not dressing up, but hey, boy, I'm like, my man. Especially they're all fucking like twenty milkmen. <laughs> so, uh, so what's it saying? Black Patty, her, even that mad but nun that runs around. Mm. She had, so uh, Jarvis, uh, I says, I'm creating monsters here. Mm. I'm the I'm the OG, but. Mm. But Still I'm only doing it now at the end of this year, and that's him. Um, yeah. I'm letting go of wee orange man. Yeah, had a good run. We had a good run. Three years by the end of the year. Three years and about 20 shows. Mm. And you're an actor? It's fucking playwright as well. Playwright, actor. Are you, am I a playwright now because I've read a play? Mm. Playwright, <laughs> An actor. <laughs> actor. So, Doesn't matter whether they're shite or they're not, they're still plays. So I have a wee video coming out just promoting, trying to promote the dates, but I started off showing the boob. You know what I mean? But like the ones that seen it, fuck, good crack. It's just to get the message out, you know what I mean? But I might, man. So what happened was, I said they believe we need to advertise oranges and new green. So our original plan was to get you, get me in the underpants, and run past every theatre that I'm doing, make it all physical looking, the whole lot, and believe them was coming down. Then I was like, ah, oh, couldn't be fucking bothered moving. There was all our shit going on too in the house. I had to deal with it all. So I was sitting, I've actually seen a thing the night before on TikTok where the guy says, stop fucking planning and just fucking do it. He says, don't care about your plans, just start. And then things get creative and I was like, he's got a point, you know, because I had nothing in my head to fucking do, what am I going to do? So the stuff's up the attic, the orange man fucking outfit. Mm. Well, it's my bad cave up there. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and up when I got down and just said, ah. Lee was coming in half an hour, so we got under the, the the string vest first. Started feeling a bit fucking, then I got the... It was like Commando, you know that scene in Commando? Mm. Uh, <laughs> put on the red, white and blue underpants, you know what I mean? The moustache went on, then like a headband. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Do you tuck your wallet back at what happens? No, it's just that. Like, <laughs> it's like a fucking action man. <laughs> like a Ken doll. <laughs> Should have stuck a sock down there. <laughs> no, but then Arlo out tight. <laughs> she always told the always, fags. Always, always, always tight. But um, Blee landed then. I'm in the pants and a vest. <laughs> I mean, and then the crack started. I said, man, because we were planning to go places and do this and do that. I said, man, that's personal. That's quite the back. Went out the back and realised that every fucking uh, vehicle and every fucking piece of equipment was orange. I went, right. So we just did a. When I work in building sites, uh, the, the, the one was good that people are blaming me for putting the car up, and then you just kind of see the. <laughs> How where would I get the equipment to do such uh, things? Bigger in the background, uh, good. And this is a mixture. Some good jokes in that now. 
That, so that was me just going out and playing about in the back garden. And we're going whatever. It shows you that you can just get creative with what's around you. You know what I mean? Mm. It was just ad living, right? Stand here. For, there was like six other jokes of a shit. You know what I mean? But we just kept rolling. Oh, please, who is the cameraman? I could fucking. Is that my, his brain works better than most, but nothing else that the brain goes down there works well. You know, like <laughs> fingers and feet and hands and <laughs> walking normal or talking. Everything is just a shade out of me. So we didn't. It was like I got the video back and I was going, right, action. No one was doing all that. And I was thinking, right, excellent. He's, he's stopping and recording again. No? Oh, big one. one big, one big long video. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. You had the scroll through here. I was like, where's all the videos? It was just one big fucking 25 minute job. Like. <laughs> well done, Blake. Pushing the glasses up and on. <laughs> aye, 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 go. And then I went, he, ru- he ruined about three jokes where he laughed that loud. <laughs> Bastard. There's a couple of you out text, you know what'll be good. I'm not trying to do that walk of your woman. I was walking straight past and on, showing the tit and on. He was just laughing too much. So I just said, fucking. So we're able to go out. Oh, the garden. Oh, don't start it now. We'll go to the next day. We're at fucking... Many minutes. We're at 52 minutes or something. Don't get stuck on them now. We'll leave it there. It's a crack one, like, but anyway, we'll leave it. For, anyway, then we'll come back next time because we'll, I'll give hey, you this. But this just before we go, uh, come back. Short and long of it, just as that for Conan's birthday, we were, we didn't go on holidays this year because we wanted to get a fucking... <laughs> a, we says instead of going on holidays, let's invest it in the back garden because our back garden was rotten. Like, whoever lived there before just had vegetable patch fucking one of them big massive fucking oil tanks in the middle of the garden the metal hanging in the garden stones hate stones just shit says, we'll get it done and ne- never learn get a mate Aye. that's your second mate this mate was a year late he was meant to do it last year and then this year I asked him again he says no bother and then I put it out on Facebook because he wasn't even getting back to me he's like hey straight away rang me what do you want me to do this is I it's next day then I came man Tell me, he looked at it and walked around. Now. I'll have this done in five days, kid. Five days, he says. I says, man, that's great because it's the wee man's birthday in five weeks. <laughs> oh, fuck, five weeks. We're still eight weeks in, he hasn't got it half done. <laughs> eight weeks in. And man, seven of them, nothing much happened. Man, there was days he was just coming, sitting on his digger, looking on his phone, and then going home. You pay him for that, are you? He'll eat everything too. Don't be putting red sauce on man when he sees me making some. <laughs> There's times you boil the kettle quietly because if he hears it, it'll stop working. <laughs> Just fucking, it's the best. Like, it's that much now, I'm thinking this is a fucking, this could, this could be a new character to do. And all you have to do is just do exactly what he did and people will go, no way. That didn't happen. <laughs> Like, the, I even text him when I get the fucking stuff out of my garden. Get it all out. I'll get somebody else. I'll, I'll pay. You, you send shit. me the message. It was a voicemail. Uh, a voice a cheeky one, too. Land the next day and put his tractor in, or his uh, digger under the back and then left. <laughs> Just to keep the work there, you know what I mean? Somebody said, and then I've got mates all coming out. No looking at the job and all. He's good at the job now, but it's going to cost you no fun. <laughs> <laughs> All these experts, Glenn Rose, Glenn Rose, you know what I mean? He's never fucking did anything in his life. That's going to cost you, yeah, you know. This is a no. That's why I'm getting the fun. I know it. Why'd you say to him? He's, a, he's just I said to who the boy doing yeah, it. You said to Rose, much then, much do you think? I don't know, much. And he goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pilots, oh, you haven't a clue, are you? You had not a notion. Where do you even start, Glenn? What the fuck? Gone away. Hung up. And the boys are coming up to see family and all. I warned you. No, oh, that's gone out. Get the fuck out. The only thing that's saving him is bad weather. See, the sun had been shining and we were meant to be out in that guy. So I want it done now in case we have a good August. <laughs> I know. Uh, 20, you know what, the last week or so has been all right. Like, so we came back, it's, bit, been, uh, it's been nice. It's picking up a wee bit, but Jesus Christ, man. I'm gone beyond now. We're getting angry. Let's just get it done. Oh. Looks well. The butt he's done too looks class. That's the thing about it. He does everything right. To use your imagination. It's a great garden. Hey, sir. Like, he, I rang, he did a day where he brought a guy down, and it was like, like last Friday, not last Friday, Friday before, right? I said, when will he be back? He goes, what's tomorrow? It's Saturday tomorrow. I said, probably leave it to Monday, right? Didn't land on the following Friday, right? See, during that time, Niall Blee, his sister, got a <laughs> garden just the same size, done and completed. 
He sent me the photos. Loved oh, sending them to me, like. Then they landed back. Man, he's rang me. I'm on my way over now with blocks for your garden. Right, happy days. Don't see him for three days. <laughs> he's on his way, he says. I'm literally leaving the yard now to come to yours. Two days. <laughs> Why frustrating? Mm. Oh, I'm coming over today, boy. Even the S's, it was like four days before his birthday and there was no one done. I says, man. He goes, well, fucking show them, Ron. That'll be done. And all I did was stick a spade into the sand. I swear yeah. to God. You should do a video like uh, Wally Wonka, come with me to a world of pure imagination. <laughs> Fucking Mary Poppins, like clicking your fingers and things start happening. Hey. But well, then it's funny as fuck. the Matilda and all, you pointed the thing and start did the draw Man, it's like, it does make you laugh eh, when it comes out. So it's just like you're just looking at him and he's laughing away. That's like when you scold away and he makes you laugh. That's just you're like, ah, we about fucking eight hours work. But you're here eight weeks, like. <laughs> Class. Oh, it's the best I've seen. <laughs> Call back. Now, now this is a bit of the running thing. Now we'll talk about it every pod until it's done. Ah, Nobody's mm-hmm. going to believe this shit. Because like. mm-hmm. see, every week if I had a chat about it, I would have had a fresh belter. There's too many. Do you ever have too many uh, things? Should write them Do you down. remember? Should probably have said. Need a brain like a woman there. No. <laughs> Find every wee thing. Remember it all. You need the... Uh... <laughs> Do you know what? Gattis actually fucking said a cracker joke today. It was about uh, speed dating. And Gattis was well, one of the girls, uh, a trans woman. And McCann was like, ah, and he was like, how'd that go? He goes, I said it was fucking brilliant crack. I was like, of course it was, it was a man. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a cracker comedian on Kill Tony, did you see yeah. that? He says, we overheard an argument. He says, no, when you stop everything that you're doing, you turn the music down, you get involved, and you listen. <clears throat> two gays. He says, it was unbelievable. The two of them both made sense. <laughs> Superior thinking. <laughs> both fighting towards a conclusion. <laughs> 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 A reasonable conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievable. And then, you know what I mean? So that's, uh, that's what they say, sure. Don't me and finish with fists. Ah, and then just shake and hug and go uh, back to the bar. So that's why it doesn't usually get the fists. We'll go, right, fucking leave it then. Aye. Where a woman just keep her going and going. Anyway, this is one of them pods where Arda listens to now and I'm going to fucking Hey, just before we finish, like, fucking what did you make of the whole Trump thing? <sighs> Fake or not? Hey man, the worst Se- security team ever. Worst the secu- I think that they, they wanted them dead. You see the videos, but of like, like everybody shouting, there's a, there's a boy about there. the woman that was waiting for it <laughs> with a camera on her. Everybody sat down, she stayed, stayed up, <laughs> smiling. But you know what? They see if it was made up, it's, it's, a, it's fucking, like, it's, it's more like. No, I don't think it's made up. I think that they set him up. They wanted him dead, like. You think Are so? you thinking that he cut himself? No. Uh, I heard it was a BB gun or something. I didn't put a But do you not see them all shit? Hey, your man over here's got a gun. And it's then, on the roof and it's that slow. And about 10 minutes later, they were like, hey, that boy's still up there with that gun. And then they killed him, man. Yeah. Uh, but they haven't released names or anything, have they? Did you see they're doing the female thing too? There's no point. <laughs> Us bringing it up, we're getting bothered. But did you see all the Secret Service women? Ran yeah. the other way. <laughs> well, them fixed their glasses and all. Checked herself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> all the men were on to get killed. The Lord, what the fuck this? <laughs> Of a wash on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Fuck, we better leave it there. We so, didn't even know just the pod. Welcome to the back. Uh, back podcast. 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 Get on just the start Patreon. Start There's 89 episodes. We need to do one of them ones, don't we? Aye. Do we uh, clap by? Anyway, up a fucking hoods. Up the fucking Backmaster podcast.